Hello, hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. You are joining me for One Hit Wonder Wednesday with Wendy. As you are coming in, please say hello. Facebook doesn't let me know when everybody is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and take a second and send out the text alert for those of you that are signed up for the text alerts. If you are not signed up for the text alerts, go ahead and hop over to my VIP page and get set up for that. Okay, the text alert has gone out. I'm just going to share this to our group page. There is a link to the group page in the description. If you would like to join my VIP page and you are not in it yet go ahead and tap on my head and it should bring up a link hey Sarah how are you I'm gonna go ahead and just share this to our group and then I'm gonna share it to my business page I'm gonna go ahead and share it to one more place and that will be it because I want to get this going I want to try to keep it to a half an hour today so what is up what is everybody doing on this dreary Wednesday crappy crappy so if you did not read the description this is one hit wonder wednesday i do only have one of each piece that i'm going to show so once it is gone it is gone i will not be keeping the numbers with the pieces so if you are watching the replay if you are watching the replay go ahead and take a screenshot of the piece send it to me on a private message and i will let you know if it is still available Thank you, Gina. This is actually LuLaRoe, I love it. It's, um, what is it called, a Nicole? No, it's not a Nicole, Nicole's a dress. Kristen, it's a Kristen. I love them, I have like seven of them. Super comfy. It is sad, it's disgusting. My mother just came in last night, finally arrived after all of her delays. Um, still has no luggage, but she is here. Um, actually at my aunt's house. Look at the glare in my glasses. I never wear my glasses. If you are new to me, my name is Wendy Nicholson. I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Hey, Sonia. Everything is $5. Everything is lead and nickel free. Today we are doing one hit wonders. So I only have one of each piece. So if you do see something you like, get your quick fingers ready and comment sold and the number. Like I said, if you're watching the replay and you'll know that because you won't see that live red badge up in the left hand corner. Just take a screenshot of that, private message it to me and I'll let you know if it's still available. Everything is $5, everything is lead and nickel free. I do go live on Monday nights at seven, Thursday nights at seven, and then I do my one hit wonders sporadically. I try to do it at lunchtime on Wednesdays. Hey Nikki, hi Sonia, hi Sarah, who else is here, Gina, Rose. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you are hopping in, go ahead and say hello so I know that you are here. Thank you for sharing. If you do share my video publicly to your page, you will be entered into a giveaway um, for May. And to learn more about my giveaways, see all of the new releases, go ahead and join my VIP page if you are not in there. I just saw, hey Rachel, how are you? Well, I'm not quite sure where her luggage is. I think her flight was delayed. She got into another plane, like in the nick of time. They made her check her luggage, which she didn't want to do. And so it didn't arrive with her. So they were putting it on another plane. They were going to fly it to Bradley and then drive it to her. But as far as I know, she hasn't received it yet. And not to mention, the only thing she had on her was her ID. No credit cards, no money, no nothing. So luckily my aunt was picking her up from the airport so she did get there safe and sound last night. She's actually supposed to be on her way to Kayla's house to meet her great grandson for the first time. Super exciting. Okay, here we go. We're going to get going and I'm going to try to make this quick. I do have a lot pulled, but we'll see. Hey, Melissa, thank you for sharing, Sonia. The first piece I have is from the Urban Collection. This is a leather um, urban bracelet. It does have pull to open, pull to close cord. All paparazzi leather is genuine leather. It does smell like leather. So this is just a simple brown leather bracelet that is, it's not even really braided. It's kind of weaved. If you would like that, that is sold number 35. Again, I'm not going to keep the numbers with the prop. With, I can't even talk. With the parts. <laughs> 
So if you are claiming later in the show, just give me a description because I'm just going to throw them all in this box here. If you are watching this later on, just go ahead and take a screenshot of the piece if you're able to. I will leave these all together for like a day so I won't put them away. Thanks for sharing, Melissa. The next piece are gold fish hook earrings. And they have three, six simple, just little thin circles. All paparazzi jewelry is lead and nickel free. Those will sit like that. Super, super lightweight. Sold number 66. My chickens are clucking away out there. Somebody must be laying an egg. Were you all on the other night, on Monday night, when we heard that horrible, horrible sound? I, I'm pretty sure it was a fish or cat. I did go out to investigate, but Frankie said he saw something, and then I could hear something rustling in the bushes, so I kind of got nervous, and I didn't leave the deck. But I said if it was getting the chickens, they would be cackling, so. And what am I going to do? I guess I could have thrown something at it. I could have fought it off like Brandy and I fought off the um, raccoon one day. That was awful. We're so mean. This is a silver bracelet. It does have a lobster claw clasp and extender. And it just has these simple silver circles. Some of them do have that hammered texture. It was crazy, right, Rachel? That sold number 87. And I'm upstairs with the window closed. It was loud. Frankie swears he saw a fox, but I'm like, I don't think a fox makes... I know they can make noise too, but this was a horrible, horrible sound. <laughs> I'm going to grab my lens. What's everybody doing on this dreary day? It's miserable, isn't it? Don't you country folk have rifles? <laughs> I do not own a gun, and it's probably a darn good thing. But Brandy Maker and I went after a raccoon with a shovel one time. <laughs> it was awful. Oh, my poor father. Sold number 87 to Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. And my father was in a walker then. And it was so funny because we were outside on the deck and we could hear him coming. He wanted us to call animal control. We're like, what is animal gonna control going to do? So we didn't. We just were mean to it a little bit. But it left finally. Oh, Melissa, you're working. Boo. These are a simple silver post back earring. But look at the gorgeous detail on these. Hey, Cassandra, how are you? Those are really super pretty. They have the black sandstone around it with the black acrylic in the middle and then the white rhinestones. And those are, again, a post back. Those will sit like that. Those are sold number seven zero, sold number 70. Is it supposed to be this crappy all week? I think it is, isn't it? I'm like over it. I need some vitamin D. That's my mother messaged me yesterday. She's like, well, based on the weather, I guess I should wear, I should bring some warm clothes, huh? This is called Quarry Trail. This necklace is silver and purple. It does have these purple natural shaped looking beads. They look like natural stone. They are not, of course. They are purple. They do have some crackle in there. Lobster Claw Clasp Extender. It's on a thicker silver chain and it has the bone colored and the purple crackle with the silver beads. And that's a short necklace, so that'll sit like that. Oh good, I hope so. And that would be sold number nine. I hope it's a nice weekend. We can finally open the camp for good this weekend and like stay there without having to pay extra. This is an urban bracelet. It's called Undefeated. I'm sorry, it's a necklace. Again, all the urbans do not have earrings. They are geared towards men. 
but I like to call them unisex because I haven't come across anything that I myself would not wear. This is in gunmetal. It does have the lobster claw clasp and extender, and it's on a double chain. It's thick, but it is flat. And that is medium in length, so that'll sit about there. Like, I would um, double, well, not double this up, but I would layer it with another necklace. Super cute. And that is sold number 81. I wish I could be at my daughter's when my mother meets my, or her great-grandson for the first time. I am going to go over there when I get out of work at three, though. After I go run some errands. This next piece is a stretchy bracelet. This is really pretty for summer. It is that bubblegum pink and silver. It has three, six rows, but they are all connected by this band in the middle of the silver. That's super cute. So that'll sit on your wrist like that, or you can wear it like that. That's sold number 89. Again, these are one hit wonders. I do only have one each of these. Everything is $5, lead and nickel free. What's everybody having for lunch? I just literally crammed leftover Chinese in my face. This is an urban bracelet. It's called Tiebreaker. This is in copper. So it does have this brown cord for your pull to open, pull to close. And then it's just a simple copper chain. And this is lightweight. It does look like it has some weight to it, but this is lightweight. And that is sold number 56. Oh, where are the monster trucks, Courtney? A stupid salad. I should be eating stupid salads. I really need to get my rear in gear. All right. Gina, I wish I could hear you speak because I need to know how that's pronounced and I've never had one. Leftover macaroni and cheese. Homemade macaroni and cheese? I had posted that I made homemade macaroni and cheese a couple weeks ago. It's still <laughs> sitting in my fridge waiting to get thrown out. I missed, missed trash day last week. Oh, at Cheshire Fair? Hi, Aunt Cindy. This is another urban bracelet. This is in gray leather, and I can, oh, it smells like leather. It does have the black pull to open, pull to close, and it's just a, it's not really braided. I guess this is also weaved too. And that is sold number 98. Acai, acai, okay. Good job, Gina, thank you. <laughs> Is it at least Velveeta shells, Sarah? With hot dogs or kibasi? Oh, yum. I love macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Sold number 98 to Rachel. Thank you. And that's, I said I wasn't going to leave the numbers, and I actually put the number in that one. And my hair's all falling down. Rachel, and I have to make sure I put C-O or C-A. I will get confused. Oh, yum. That sounds good, Sarah. So it wasn't, at least it wasn't craft powdered cheese. Silver fish hook earring. I didn't know I had these. I would have put them in my earring album the other day, a wall drop. Brown leaves. These are made of wood. They are super lightweight. And those will sit like that. Sold number 59. If you are looking for accessories to accessorize your summer wardrobe, go ahead and check out the wall drops in the VIP group. I just posted a ton of fun summer earrings in there the other day. No powder. This is another urban bracelet. Why does this have a tie on it? Again, it has the black... This looks like it's untied. So I'm not gonna sell that one. It looks like the knot came untied. That'll go in my 
fix it and wear it bucket. These are a pair of hoop earrings. They are post back and they are simple gold in the shape of, I'd say a J. They're not really a circle. They're a little egg shaped. And those will sit like that. <gasps> Kayla wants to be in my video. Does she really want to? We're gonna try this. Last time we lost audio. This will be fun. I wonder if my mom's there. So these will be sold number 53 for the simple gold hoops. Hey, Popa! Can everybody see that handsome boy? He's just the best. I hope I didn't lose audio. Now. No, I can hear you. Oh, my mommy's there. Hi, mommy. Hi. Oh, my goodness. You're, you're not on camera. Hi, Poopa. I, I, yeah. I've been traveling. I'm not looking too good. I've been crying. I've been... <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Isn't he the darn cutest? Oh, yeah. He's Hi, Poopa. He doesn't know what to make of me yet, though. His little oh, bottom sure. was going up. He was going to cry. No. I'm 48 and I don't know what to make of you yet. <laughs> this next piece is a coil bracelet in silver. And look at the gorgeous white moonstone. So it has white moonstone and rhinestones in that. That is sold number 16. This piece is really pretty. I don't know why I have one left. But that'll sit on your wrist like that. Again, sold 16. He's just the light of my life. I just love that little dude. He's the best, best thing in the world. So number 16 to Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Um, Nikki, when are you going to your mom's? I need to get you your thing. I have to go to Williams and delete some, and delete, deliver some things too. Oh, good, Kayla. Last time we tried that dual screen, it lost my audio for some reason. Sold number 16. Sorry, Sue, that is gone. And these are one-hit wonders. I only have one of them. I hear grandchildren do that. Do what? What do grandchildren do? Oh, you will, Nikki? I have to go to Gardner to run something to Williams. Maybe I'll swing by there. Silver fish hook earrings. Lobster claw clasp and extender. This is on a silver chain, and then it comes down to this black crystal. And it does have some hematite stones underneath that. And the unique thing about this piece is on the back, it has these heart cutouts, and it's a mirror behind that. This is medium to long necklace. I always wear the worst shirts to show things. Oh, yeah, Melissa, it's the best. That's, I'm like, I don't know when you have another one, how I love it the same. That's sold number 79. He'll always hold a special place in my heart. He's just got it, right? He's the one that made me a grandma. All right, Nikki, well, I'm working till three, so I'm going to try to get some things to the post office, too. I said try. But I have to get to Kayla's, too, so I can see my mama. And, of course, Barrett. That's funny. She said he doesn't know what to think of me. I wonder what he's doing. He's just so darn cute. This next piece is called Recycled Refinement. This is in red. These ovals are twisted. They look like rope. And then you have your circles. And then it comes down to this red teardrop crackle. Gorgeous. That is sold number 65. Again, this is one hit wonder. I only have one of each. We love our grandchildren more than our kids. I know, Tammy. It's, would you say it's more or it's just different? I would, I don't think I could tell Kayla that. Yeah, I froze because I was getting a phone call. Sold number 65 to Gina. He must not realize that it's Wednesday and I go live at once time. Thank you, Gina. It's just a different kind of love. Gina. 
it's just different. Like, you know, when you're raising your children, you more. <laughs> when you're raising your children, you also have to work. You have to, you know, be the disciplinary. You have to cook and clean. And um, when you're a grand, you just have to love them and spoil them. I saw her coming to the, oh, Tammy, I was so mad. Hey, Dolly. I missed it because of stupid COVID. We were actually at the camp and I was pacing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the camper. I was getting so mad. And then he didn't end up coming for three days later. That poor thing was in labor for three days. This is called Mystified. This is a hinge bracelet. It is in silver. It does have hammered texture with these white acrylic pieces. Yeah, and they, let her push for four freaking hours so that's going to sit on your wrist like that that's sold number 75 four hours before they decided to give her a c-section she needed her mommy and i was so sad i couldn't be there less responsibility exactly melissa it's just much easier this next bracelet is a graph it does look like a licensed bracelet that we all know so that is your closure there and then it has these little discs with the little dandelion it's called dandelion wishes i believe the name tag isn't on here but let me get the lens on here so i can show you they did come out with a cuff like this yesterday I was only able to get three of them and they all sold out. I only have one of these left and that is sold number 97. It was awful, Tammy. Awful, awful, awful. I hated it. I told her, you better not have another child during COVID. Because <laughs> I don't think I could do that again. Sold number 97 to Courtney. You got it. Thank you, girl. Yeah, it's falling out everywhere. What time is it? It's almost 12.30. I said I was going to go fast, and I just keep flopping my jaws. These are a gunmetal post um, fish hook earring with these large circles, and they are hematite stones, and they just have that gunmetal bubble beading around that. It does give it the effect of having some bling around those hematite stones, but they don't. No audio again. Those are going to sit like that. Can anybody else hear me? That's sold number 22. I know, Dolly, I took them off last week, I think, because they were just a mess. And I figured that they needed a little breather and then I just continued to break them all. This one I smashed so hard the other day it was bleeding. I was literally in tears. Oh, it must be you, Sonia. I'm sorry. Thirty-six hours. I went to the hospital with Kayla probably a little after two AM and I was ready to go home at six AM. As I said to them, I'm like, um, can I go home now? They're like, um, yeah, you can, but she's got to stay. It was so easy. My pregnancy sucked, but delivery was okay. This is confetti and cocktails. <laughs> I know. I second get. I second. I thought about that for a second, Dolly. These are silver fish hook earring. They have a white background. And I'm going to put the lens on because you can't really get that glitter. But it's a short necklace. These are the same as the earrings, and it has confetti in those. If I put the lens on correctly. See the, the gold confetti in those? How cute. And the earrings are exactly the same. It's like gold flat. And that is sold number 11. Bentley's over there snoring. He's actually behind me. 
I had to go searching for him a little while ago because he has his bed and his blankie in the corner. And I got up to do something and he wasn't following me. I was like, oh, where the heck is he? Then I'm like, shoot, did I leave him outside? So I ran downstairs. He wasn't outside. I came in and I have a backdrop laying behind me that I use to take my pictures. And he's all snuggled up in there. And that's where he is right now, snoring away. A little bugger. Sonia, try getting out of the video and going back in. That's weird. These are called Chandelier Cameo. These are gorgeous, and I don't know why I have these left. But these are a silver fish hook. I'm going to put the lens on from the beginning. Look at those gorgeous chandelier earrings. That ruby red crystal is absolutely gorgeous. These have a lot of movement. I should have pulled my hair back. Those will sit on your ear like that. Really, really lightweight. Those are sold number seven. Has anybody else not done their taxes yet? I'm starting to freak out about it. I'm going to pull my hair back. Because I've been saying every darn day, oh, today's going to be the day you're going to work on your taxes. And I haven't done it freaking out. I love this bracelet. Still glowing strong. This is in white. It is a stretchy bracelet. And it has these different um, size ovals and circles and a piece of hair. And it has this tiny, tiny bubble beading around it. And it almost looks like they are rhinestones. You haven't either yet, Gina? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. So this is super classic, really pretty. You can dress this up, dress it down, wear it with a white button down shirt, fold it over a denim jacket, really cute. That is sold number 55. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <clears throat> I know Lynn, I don't know what to do. And the only reason I'm procrastinating is because of paparazzi and the other direct sales business I was doing before this. I didn't save any receipts. Oh, I was going to bring mine to an accountant and I really wish I had it. Well, they could file an extension, I guess. Silver fish hook earrings with these teardrop shaped purple acrylics. This is a very pretty purple. It does have the lobster claw clasp and extender on a short silver chain. And it has the teardrop shaped acrylic, um, purple acrylic, and then the teardrop silver with the hammer texture. This is really pretty. And that will sit like that. What happens when you file an extension though? That's sold number 82. And how long do they give you? Do you get penalized? That's another thing too. I took money out on my 401k. Yeah. They did take out taxes and there's no penalty because I took it against the CARES app. But still, it counts as income. I'm like, did they take enough taxes out? I probably screwed my sale. But whatever. What are you going to do, right? These are a jacketed earring. These are brass. They're called wing fling. So this part here is going to sit in the front of your ear. And then you put this behind and then put the backing on. They're really, really cute. I'll put the lens on so you can see all the detail in those. They are brass. They have the rhinestone here and then the little tiny rhinestones on the bottom. And that is sold number 95. Oh, hey, Shannon. Yeah, I know you do get a get penalty, but... um. Because of COVID, they were waiving that. So what I took out did fall under the, I think they called it the CARES Act. So number 95 to Rachel Kudamash. What did I just do with those? Thank you, Rachel. So I'm really hoping it doesn't make a big impact. But then the other direct sales business that I was doing said that I made like three grand. I'm like, how is that possible? And of course, I can't get back into their website to look at anything. So whatever, I'll have to eat that. 
these are really cute. These are, I don't know if they're brown or if they're burgundy. They are a post back earring, silver, with all that hammer texture, almost looks like a piece of tin foil. I know that's probably not a great way to describe them, but that's what it reminds me of. And then these look like little paint brushes. I don't know if that's burgundy or brown. What do you think? Lead and nickel free. Again, everything is $5. Those will sit like that. Those are super cute. Sold number four. Again, I am not keeping the numbers with these. So if you are watching later on, take a screenshot of that item and private message it to me and I will let you know if it's still available. Next time for a few more minutes. This is a silver necklace, short. Again, I don't know how I have one of these left. Your own free wheel, this is called. Silver fish hook earrings. And these remind me of little sand dollars. Lobster claw clasp and extender. It is on a short silver chain. And then it has those same sand dollar looking pieces surrounding that. That is short, so it'll sit about there. They did match my shirt perfectly. And that's sold number 68 for that. Maybe I'll switch them up and wear those after. I go see my mommy and my baby. My baby. My baby's all grown up. That will always be my baby. This next piece is a rose gold bracelet, stretchy bracelet with these simple circles. This is a really nice piece to, to dress up or dress down. You can make it casual or a little fancy. That's sold number 80. You could stack this with that rhinestone one that I showed earlier. Ooh. Super cute. Sarah sold 68. Did I get you for that? What was that, Sarah? My brain's numb. Was it those feather duster earrings? No. Throw out a description to me, Sarah. I can't remember what I did two seconds ago. Was it those earrings? Oh no, it was this. I got you, girl. You almost got the feather duster earrings. Sarah T, thank you. I found this lanyard. I didn't know that I had lanyards. And I went to stock up on lanyards. And we don't have any new ones on the site. Hopefully they will replenish those soon. This is called Perfect Prosperity. This is in gold. This is really pretty. Has the gold fishhook earrings with these tiny little white moonstones. Lobster claw clasp and extender on a medium gold chain. And then it comes down to this champagne colored moonstone. Gorgeous. That's so pretty. And then the circle with all the white rhinestones. And again, that is a lanyard. That is sold number 14. I don't know if Anita's watching. She's my lanyard girl. Number 14. Yeah, Sarah, even saying last, I was like, what? What did I show last? My brain's toast. I'm going to throw a couple more pieces and then hop on so I can do a little bit of running around before I have to get back to work. Only for two hours, though. Today's my six to three week. I love working six to three. This is a set of bangles. It is called Prairie Plains, and I'm surprised I still have this left. It is a set of four bangles, and they have these little black acrylic, acrylic pieces with the white polka dots. It does have that little silver flower. There's a flower there and a flower there also. That's so cute. One of these available. And that's sold number 19. Sold number 19. 
Oh, well, yes. Put your phone away, Amy. We love you, too. What are you doing on a ride-along? <laughs> or are you cuffed in the back seat? <laughs> this is a long necklace. Oh, this is super pretty. I love the color of this. This is a silver necklace. Your complimentary earrings are the silver fish hook with these clear rhinestones. This does have the lobster claw clasp and extender. This is a medium to long chain and look at the pendant on this. Look at that brilliant orange moonstone. And then each of these circles is encrusted with the white rhinestones and they are independent of one another this way and also this way. So they have, that has a lot, a lot of movement. This is gorgeous. This is sold number 12. Sold number one, two. Am I not seeing comments here? Did everybody fade away on me? Everybody's digesting their lunch. My stomach's going to digest very well. I ate it so fast. I didn't even taste it, really. Isn't that disgusting? All right, nobody's going to snag those silver bangles, huh? All right, this is going to be the last piece that I'm going to sew today. The rest I will put back in the bin. Oh, Amy. <laughs> Tell that man to pull over. This is a brass bracelet. It's called the Rural Fields. Oh, my work computer just went out. I've been having such a hard time with that today. This is a stretchy bracelet. These pieces remind me of shields. And then it has the little brass beads for spacers. Super, super stretchy. That's going to be sold number 29. Thanks for sharing, Amy. I want to know why you're on a ride along. What are you doing for work? I thought you were a nurse. Are you a disc packer or an EMT? I don't know why. I just assumed you were a nurse. All right, that's the last piece that I'm going to show because, like I said, I want to get some things done. And look at all my hot balls. Anybody that's friends with me must have seen my, I can't show them, but I literally have handfuls upon handfuls upon handfuls of hot balls on my desk. I've been eating them like they're, like hot balls of the toilet paper of April of 2020. My, like, mouth is sore from eating them and I can't stop. I bought a huge thing from Amazon. Was it last week or the week before? 240 of them and they're almost gone. I'm surprised I have any teeth left from crunching on them. But I can't stop. I won't stop until they're gone. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your lunch with me. Thursday night. I'm still trying to think of a game. I'm actually hoping that I will have a guest Thursday. We'll have to see what she is up to then. And um, yeah, I will see you all then. Thanks so much. That's what I do with Rolos. Oh, it's horrible. I cannot stop. Skittles. Oh, I like Skittles too. And another one that I'm horrible with is five pounds of Rolos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sour Patch Kids. When I was pregnant, I would eat those, and I still do if I have them. I don't get them as often, but till my tongue was bleeding, and I mean bleeding, killing, bleeding, and I couldn't stop eating them. It was horrible. The same with these damn things. But I'm like, my mindset is like, same thing when I try to diet. Three pound bag of Skittles. Like, I just have to hurry up and eat them so they're gone, right? Because then I can't eat them again. Same thing when I say, oh, I'm going to start a diet Monday. Well, then I need to get in my pantry and eat every freaking carb in the house in two days, right? So stupid. Oh, it's awful. Another thing I've done that with is pineapple. I love fresh pineapple, but that's so acidic. That does the same thing. Oh, horrible, horrible. But whatever, they're good, right? 
All right, everybody, I am going to hop on. And if I don't see you all before Thursday, I will see you Thursday. And I have some exciting things to talk about. I will see you all then. Have a great day.